first stop for me is in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Um, we've got some kids coming here too. But I figured I'd grab some lunch, hang out with my friends. <laughs> Guys, I'm a sucker for roadside attractions. I love it. So grab some lunch, grab some gas. There are quick trips still in Minnesota. Fantastic. Once I hit the South Dakota line, I don't think that's an option anymore, but I grabbed some gas, I got some snacks, and just gonna stretch my legs for a little bit and keep on going. Okay y'all, I'm in Mitchell, South Dakota. I don't know if you can see this. I'm at the Corn Palace. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of wind. Palace. So yeah. I'm on my way through probably to the Badlands, but I figured I'd stop, kind of relax. I saw a sign for cupcakes, so I'm gonna go get one of those and probably much, probably just keep going. So yeah. <laughs> I'm so dorky. I love it. I don't even have kids with me and I'm just going to these places. Why not? So if you find yourself in Mitchell for more than like 5-10 minutes, I just went to Crazy for Cupcakes and got, went this bad, got a cupcake. But then also check out the Back 40, looks like a pretty good place to grab dinner and lunch. So just some recommendations. I'm so pumped. One of my stops that I really wanted to go to was... Enter the door trail. It's just as you get in to the Badlands. I like I haven't even hit the visitor center yet, I believe. But super cool. You kind of have to follow the yellow poles. <laughs> They're numbered, which is nice. But not a lot of people. And it's about 7, 7.20 right now. So the sun is getting I think I may camp here tonight, or I may go to Rapid City, it depends. I really wanted to go to the Waldrug, which is still about 30 minutes from here, which isn't too bad. But if I was going through, I needed to go check out the Badlands first. I'm definitely coming back later this weekend. But just as an FYI for anybody that does or is in the military, you do get a free National Parks pass if you're active duty status so if my husband was just his normal national guard um, status for reserve he would probably not be able to get the pass is what i was told so i am thankful for him right now to be able to let me into these parks for for free and enjoy them so i love that the sun is coming through right now yeah i'm gonna finish this trail and probably check out a little bit more of the park and then head closer to Rapid City for the night. So, day one, worth it. I did about, I don't know, nine, nine hours of driving so far from Wisconsin through Minnesota and then through part of South Dakota. Oh, it's really windy now. I just missed a tornado, which was nice. <laughs> So I came down in the Badlands today and last night, so I didn't really feel up to keep driving and I was already here, so you might as well stay. Because um, you can stay in National Parks for free, <laughs> I believe. Don't quote me on that one. 
Um, so I'm going to make some breakfast and head to Rapid City because I have my rental for today. Super pumped. Um, through Eagle Rider. I'm going to be riding uh, Low Rider for pretty much the entire day. <sighs> the hardest part for me yet is to figure out where I'm going to go first. So let's get some breakfast first and probably stop at Wall Drug on the way through and then head there. <laughs> I look tired. <laughs> it's technically like 5.30. 5.30 right now. I mean, that's 6.30 Central Standard Time, so it's kind of nice that I'm getting a leg up on everybody that's normally not awake yet. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at this. Good morning, South Dakota. South Dakota. I just stopped at Badlands Harley Davidson, got my poker chip. Went to grab my second breakfast, I guess. <laughs> Eggs and toast at the Wall Drug Store and Cafe. I got there like right away at 8 o'clock and there was a bit of a line, but it went pretty, fairly quickly. They seem to know what they're doing. So if you want, definitely check out to get a maple donut. Looks super good. I'm like full from this morning so I did not but I'll leave a little video clip to show you but yeah a good stop so now I'm headed to Rapid City to pick up my bike for the day they open up at 9 so I'm like itching to get there so all right see you guys there okay so I got all my gear on parked in the vendor parking here uh it's the Black Hills Harley Davidson in Rapid City or the Eagle Rider. So I, I don't know. I'm nervous. I shouldn't be nervous, but I am. It's a bigger bike. It's a bike that I'm not used to in a place that I'm not used to riding. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Hopefully. <laughs> and just explore for the day. So I've gotten till 5 p.m. and it's about a little after 10 o'clock. After getting all the contract sign and the waiver and the video watched and all that jazz, uh, finally got the bike and let's hit the road. The hardest part for me is to figure out where I wanna to go to first. Mm -hmm. 